Well, after weeks of searching, this man will face a judge today. Robert Broom is accused in the death of his eight year old nephew, but his family says he was trying to protect the little boy. 10 TV's Laura Borchers is live with reaction from that family. You'll see only on 10 TV. Jeff, the family members of Robert Broom are calling it protection, but police make it very clear they believe that he is responsible for his nephew's murder. They say that while riding in Broom's car, both the, the victim and another little boy were fired at. And they say that when someone outside of the car fired a shot, that bullet took eight-year-old Jamarian Cox's life. He was riding with his uncle to basketball courts. Now, after spending four weeks on the run, we capture video of police hauling Broom into jail. The 23-year-old did not give up before a SWAT response rolled out in South Columbus. Detectives say the April 11th shooting took one child's life and put the life of a second child also in the car in jeopardy. Broom's cousin spoke exclusively to 10TV about why Broom would fire his gun at people on the sidewalk. From my understanding is that somebody seeing them made a comment and then the people, whomever they are, are the ones that started the shooting. And from my understanding is that out of protection, he did retaliate. Now we will be in court here in just a couple hours as Broom walks into the courtroom to face a judge on this murder charge. Keep in mind, police are still looking for more suspects in the shooting. Reporting live downtown, I'm Laura Borchers, 10TV News.